Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to compress videos um, in Sony Vegas, After Effects, or any other program really, just using a plugin called Xvid Codec. Okay, so for starters, you want to open up your internet browser and go to this website, xvid.org slash downloads. And if you just type in Xvid in Google, it should be down there somewhere, otherwise I'll put the link in the description. Alright, now you want to download it for Windows if you're using Windows, and just click Xvid for Windows, and click download. Alright, once you've downloaded it, it should put an EXE on your desktop or wherever you saved it to. Just install the EXE and it'll automatically go into all your programs. So now that we've done that, now that we've done that, we can just open up Sony Vegas, because that's what I normally compress videos in. And just find a video to import. Um, let's get the movie vault intro. Alright, now say I wanted to compress this. So what we want to do is go file render, like we normally do. Now you want to save it as a .avi. These are my settings, by the way. I'm not saying these are the very best settings to use, but this is just what I do. So I save as a .avi and default template uncompressed. Now I click custom. Here, frame size should be 1280 by 720. That way, it'll be high definition on YouTube. It'll be the right aspect ratio. Uh, make sure your project setting is the same resolution that you render as, so it doesn't stretch out. And frame rate. Uh, 30 frames is pretty good and field order non progressive scan pixel aspect ratio 1 video format now this is what we want to change normally it'll be uncompressed so you want to change that to xvid mpeg4 codec that should appear once you install it so click configure and you want to change a few settings in here you want to click target quantizer here and change that up to 10,000 and just if you're settings are any different to the ones you see here, just change yours to match mine. Alright, now that that's done, you want to go to audio, that should all be right like that, and change your video rendering quality to best. So that should all be done, now you can change the name to anything that you like. I'll just call mine render test, and then you click save, and that will render out. So once that's compressed, it'll be on your desktop and it'll be a lot smaller file size. So that's pretty much how you compress a video. It's the same in After Effects as well, but instead of you do it in uh, rendering throughout After Effects. Same, you can do it in Cinema 4D and all programs like that. So I hope this helped, and if you liked it, please subscribe and check out my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.